All right, nocturnal news. Okay, today, just a couple of uh, interesting things that I discovered on Google Earth Pro and uh, another moon anomaly that I found. Now, if you haven't seen my recent moon discovery, not my discovery, something that I, I brought to you guys, uh, I think it's about two or three videos down so give it a look okay but today there's this weird object anomaly on the surface of the moon uh, it kind of looks like Stonehenge or something like that to me it has a 90 degree turn it looks like some other uh, really big you know monolithic sto monolithic stones perhaps around it I don't know I'm not claiming that's what it is but uh, very interesting nonetheless so <laughs> So you guys uh, give it a look. Tell me what you think. Also, again, a couple of cool things uh, from Google Earth Area 51. A uh, cu couple other anomalies that we'll throw in there. So leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Here we go. Hmm. Okay, so let me explain what is happening here. First of all, we are at the LROC observation Photo ID number one or M one one eight seven six nine eight seven zero L. Now these are the high resolution photos from NASA, and you know I always scan through these and try to find any anomalies. Okay, uh, first of all, I've been working in the hundred and ten degree heat all day. I had a nice video uh, prepared for you guys last night and I accidentally deleted it. So I'm going to quickly recreate last night's video. So that's what you're looking at here. I'm hot, I'm tired, I'm sunburnt, but look at this, guys. Okay, you notice the surrounding terrain. Something is a little bit off here, right? It doesn't look like any other part in this particular photo. And here's all the info of the target area and where you can find it. But when we zoom in, look at this, guys. It'll clear up in just a second. Look at this, guys. Okay, you see this perfect 90 degree angle right here. Okay, that does not look natural. Uh, I'm gonna call these monolithic stones. I don't know what else to call them. I mean, look at this giant shadow right here, um, you know, projected by the stone or, or whatever it is. But again, nothing in the surrounding area looks like this. So I thought it was very interesting. And it stands out like a sore thumb. A sore thumb. Okay, you can look at all, you know, the other, you know, areas on this photo, the terrain, and there's nothing like this. Now, I did find one other little anomaly, um, but I can't find it. It's somewhere up, up, up north of this. Okay, so, I mean, check this out, guys. What in the world? Looks like a lunar stonehenge, right? <laughs> or remember the, uh, the Georgia Guide stones that someone you know blew up okay I, and I think we know who um, but this perfect 90 degree angle these look out of place it looks like something right here is you know maybe carved or I don't want to say man-made but intelligently made and again when you zoom out it looks like this whole area has been disturbed you know maybe a past civilization I don't want to get too far out in left field but you know it is what it is okay so let's go back okay uh, to the Patavius crater and then I'm gonna go over to Google Earth Pro okay uh, now this was a video that I made a couple of weeks ago Okay, it will clear up, guys. It will clear up. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit more. There we go. It just reminded me of this video that I made, I, I want to say about two weeks ago. But you see, again, these perfect 90-degree angles. You know, it, it just doesn't look natural to me. And, and I see that, like these similar, similar defects in the lunar surface over here as the other photo, and I just don't know what it is. <clears throat> but look, we can zoom in. It's not a camera anomaly, you know, from the, the LROC. I don't know what this is. So, you know, I thought that uh, the two, you know, there, there might be a little bit of a correlation between the two. Okay, so we'll get out of this. And, um, you know, I almost want to have one more just quick look before we go to... Google Earth Pro. Just one more, just real quick look, okay? I know we just saw this, but I mean, just for, you know, comparison purposes, I mean, look at this. You know, just again, the terrain looks the same with these, these weird wavy marks, and then you have this thing that looks totally out of place, okay? Weird. And at the end of the video, uh, I will zoom into this in my editing 
app so you can get a better look. Okay, so now over here to Google Earth Pro. Okay, I have this labeled as A1. Okay, now I'm right here, Texas, almost in Mexico right now. Like I said, about 113 degrees today. I was hot as hell, but look at this, guys. How cool is that? You know, just something cool I wanted to, you know, show you guys, okay? We'll click, we'll kind of go up, and, and this is the timeline, by the way. Up here is the time bar. This is why I love Google Earth Pro, because you can go throughout the years and see, you know, what's there. But remember, when all of this was kept secret from these guys, or by these guys right here, okay, you can read that, right? That Northrum, Northrum Grumman, Grumman, that's kind of a tongue twister. Now, real quick, okay, let's go back to 1994, I think it is. Yes, here we go. Boom, there it is. Now, <laughs> remember when, you know, people were, were reporting these weird triangular craft in the sky, late 80s, early 90s, even going back to, you know, 40s and 50s, and, uh, you know, they claimed that nothing like that existed yet here they are in 1994. Okay, just, you know, I, again, I thought these were interesting things to bring to you guys. Now, let's go to A2. Okay, uh, not far from that area, over here to the Nevada Desert, better known as Area 51. Now, I made a video about this a while back, but I noticed a lot of the photos have been updated okay now some of these weren't there um, you can clearly see this entrance into the side of the mountain over here looks like some some type of exit over here okay now that's 2020 let's go back a little bit here's 2017 <clears throat> excuse me all right 2017 again I mean it just goes back and back and back remember Bob Lazar said at Papoose Lake uh, S4, and I believe, what was it, 1988, 89, December, something like that, when he, you know, claims that he worked there, I believe him, but he said it was just like this, you know, something that went into the side of the mountain, and that's where he saw what he saw, you know, no need for a recap, you guys know the story, but, uh, you know, I thought that was really cool, like I said, a lot of these photos didn't exist when I made my video, years ago so i think i might make a separate video in fact i did last night but uh, you know again i accidentally deleted it okay there's snow it looks like right there i don't know what's going on there uh but i want to go back to one of these i guess this is good enough here so we can zoom in okay and again you can clearly see this is the entrance <clears throat> into the side of a mountain and over here okay this is some type of exit some type of entrance I don't know you know and uh, this has yet to be debunked you know area 51 is very close to this to this area now I don't think it is s4 because again as m you may or may not know uh, that was in uh, Papoose Lake okay so let's see what is this a3 I, I forgot what this one was but you know what? We might as well take a quick look. What is this? Oh, this is really not that big of a deal. This is just, you know, the blackbird and whatnot on display right here. Okay, but, you know, you see all these weird craft over here like this. What in the world is that? I don't know. That's 2008. Okay, we can go to 2011. And it... I don't know what that is, some type of missile or something. But again, this is, uh, there it is, the Lockheed A-12 Blackbird. Very cool. But, you know, these are just on display, so no big discovery there. And we'll get back to this. So what do you guys make of this? And I'll just leave it at that because um, I had a really good video made last night and I freaking deleted it on accident. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to quickly recreate it, and it just is what it is. But this right here, this is just amazing to me. You know, I can't make heads or tails of this. It doesn't look natural. And again, here's some of the, um, the info over here. Okay, here's the start clock. They always do that with the LROC, and the stop clock, target name, moon, um, you know, product, your your photo ID number, and, you know, they give you the the location of this photo, too. Now, this is not near the Patavius Crater, where the, um, 
I don't want to call it a pyramid. I'll call it the monolithic stone was discovered. Okay, and that's what I'm referring to when I say monolithic stone right here. We'll zoom in one more time. I mean, it's just incredible to me to think that, you know, you got to think the moon, millions, billions of years old, you know, there had to, to have been something more than what we see today. You know, just like Mars. That's why I'm just so amazed and fascinated by this stuff. So anyway, you guys leave a comment below. Tell me what you think.